Hey guys, it's me Candy. If you are new here, I am a mom to five. I homeschool my kids and so they are home three meals a day. But in these videos, every Saturday, I only share um, our dinners for every week for a family of seven. So let's jump right into Sunday night's dinner. We actually went out to dinner with some friends and had Mexican food. But for dinner on Monday, things kind of came to a screeching halt because James was going to cook dinner and our kitchen table broke. So I spent the better part of my afternoon shopping out deals on tables. And I found this at Big Lots and decided this would be the best fit for our family. It's 20 inches longer than our previous table. And I got two extra packages of chairs. Madeline, no what way. are we doing? No way. She no. got to break down. James was planning on making nachos for dinner, so I went ahead and started those because they were putting this big old 90-inch table together and building eight chairs. So I started cooking the half a pound of ground beef and the pound of pork sausage with a can of Rotel. And when all that was cooked up, I just added a whole block of Velveeta that I had chopped up and added some milk and just kind of did some chopping and stirring and mixing until we had our cheese sauce for our nachos. This is actually usually a Wednesday night go-to for us because it's quick and easy for us to make, eat, and get out the door for church, but James was in the mood for nachos, so nachos it was. And it actually kind of was a lifesaver today because it's like 8.30 and we just got our table together. As much as I wanted bookshelves with closing doors for my dining room, I spent the money to instead buy this table, but I do think it'll be a better fit for us anyway. Here is my plate. So now moving on to Tuesday, we were running around doing a whole lot of a whole lot for James, errand wise, for his work truck and stuff. And so we just ended up stopping to eat something at a Oklahoma restaurant called Brown Derby. It's like a drive-in. And I just ordered all of the kids the Brown Derby special fries and a root beer, except for Miss Maddie. I ordered a grilled cheese, which comes with a pickle, which is why I ordered it because Maddie loves pickles. I also ordered myself the Brown Derby special, and then I ordered um, everybody a fried apple pie. Can you get the recipe to next time? What are you eating? Do you remember what it is? No. Brown Derby special? Brown Derby special? Maddie, you eating your cheese sandwich? Uh -huh. Is it good? <laughs> What's wrong? Oh! Is it good? She got ketchup on him. No, you have mayonnaise on your nose? Lamb. <laughs> <laughs> oh. So this drive-in has been around forever and I did not realize that I had not been there in a long time because none of my kids had ever been there. So this was a huge treat for them and it was just kind of a fun different kind of thing to do for dinner because none of them have ever been to like an old-fashioned drive-in like this other than like fast food places. Okay. Open it. Open it, Maddie. Open it. What's in there, Penny? She's like a fire Only fresh, fresh. Oh, yeah. That's cool. Is it good? Oh, hot, but yeah. <laughs> you can't open it? Yeah. What's your hand? Hand? Awesome. Can you bite it? Um, um, I can. Guys, this stuff's spilling out of mine. Mine too. I want to see Maddie try hers. Bite it. Mine too. Are they good? Oh, yeah. Ah. Up, 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 up. You can put it on this like a table. Okay, now I have bad news. What? CJ already knows because he was in here when Dad called me. Oh, yeah. Dad's broke down. 
obviously the kids loved their dinner and they loved the apple pies. Okay, so we are home from all our field trips. We spent about three hours at the park and now I'm rushing to get dinner ready so that we can get baths and get to church and kids are doing chores and running with a puppy and all that fun stuff. I am making a quick ravioli dinner to eat before church. So I have a pound of Italian sausage cooking with a jar of drained mushrooms. I just picked these up at Dollar Tree because James prefers the glass jars of mushrooms over the cans. And then I also sliced up some olives and I added some tomato sauce and a jar of marinara from Aldi. And I just boiled the raviolis, which are a cheese ravioli and a sun-dried tomato and garlic ravioli boiled those, drained them, and then stirred it all up, and we just had a quick dinner to get out the door and get to church before we were late. With it, I served the kids a Aldi chop salad that was a sunflower something chop salad with sweet onion dressing, and then I also picked up these two salad dressings in our hurry to pick up a lunch at a store called Anthony's in Prague, and there is a cracked black pepper and a southwestern ranch, and then of course the sweet onion. And we also had just some strawberries to go with it. For Thursday night's dinner, I knew I wanted to get a lot done today. And so I just wanted to get dinner cooking as soon as possible. So I started with a whole chicken and a pound of rinsed uh, baby carrots, put them in the slow cooker. And then in a bowl, I mixed up a can of cream of chicken and a packet of uh, brown gravy mix and then I just smothered it all over the chicken to kind of hold in the moisture and then I put sliced mushrooms over the top and I let it cook all day long maybe too long because it kind of fell apart but then again it was still juicy it was tender and everybody loved it when I took it out of the slow cooker to get all the liquid out and make a gravy the legs thighs and wings fell off of the chicken so I just had like a great big pile of chicken on my cutting board and mushrooms and carrots and then I made my gravy. I put everything else back in the slow cooker just to keep it warm while I was making gravy and just some instant mashed potatoes because um, as I've mentioned a few times I was given 10 pounds of instant mashed potatoes so I've been trying to use those up. This is the liquid from the bottom of the slow cooker. I thickened it with some cornstarch and I also chopped up a bunch of mushrooms and added those to the gravy just to add a little bit more flavor. I don't know. We really love mushrooms in our house. So here is my fallen apart chicken. As you can see, there's like a big mess of wings and legs and whatnot. And then the breast and the back stayed together. I chopped up some romaine, mushrooms, cherry tomatoes, and cheese to eat on the side of our chicken and mashed potatoes and gravy and carrots and mushrooms just to kind of add something fresh to the side and that was dinner for Thursday night I and a few of the kids added mushrooms pickles or both to our salads as well now for dinner on Friday night we had a date night at home so James cooked up these little Smokies with some barbecue sauce. I had picked them up really cheap, like $2 for the big package of them. So I made those for the kids. And then they only had one package left. So I also bought some smoked sausages and chopped them up, threw them in the mac and cheese. And I made two big packages of mac and cheese for the kids. And they had Go-Gurts and those fun chocolate milk straws just to go in their milk with that. I didn't give them a fruit or veggie because they just ate two three-pound bags of apples this afternoon. After they went to bed, I cooked James and I both our steaks, and I just rubbed them with garlic, salt, and pepper, and then I started sauteing these mushrooms with butter, Worcestershire, and garlic, and a little bit of black pepper, and cooked the steaks on the stovetop, and then to go with that, I also made us both a baked potato, and with the baked potatoes, we have our sour cream, butter, and cheese, and I also warmed up a can of these Southern Pit barbecue beans, although I probably should have not because these steaks were huge. There was actually so much steak left that the next morning for breakfast, I cooked up some fried potatoes, chopped up the steak in there. I added some mushrooms, onions, spinach, and cherry tomatoes. Just made us like a breakfast hash and made everybody a fried egg and served it over the hash and that's what we had for breakfast the next day. So the steaks weren't wasted, but as you can see by the two plates being necessary that these things were huge. So 
Um, that's our date night dinner and live PD. If we had gone to a steakhouse for this, this would have been so expensive. So $25 in comparison isn't a bad deal for those steaks. James picked up some big old pork shoulders at Anthony's for 99 cents a pound. And so he smoked these all day Saturday. He started them about 6 a.m., just rubbed them with some salt and pepper and let them smoke. And it was just kind of a big dinner for some friends. And so they came over. We had pulled pork sandwiches, which I did not film. And to go with it, we had these uh, Bush's honey beans, as well as I made up a big bowl of coleslaw, which is almost gone. And then we just picked up some potato salad just to keep it easy. That was dinner on Saturday night. I hope you enjoyed this week's Large Family Dinners video. If you did, I would appreciate if you would give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you have not already subscribed. And I would love to chat in the comments below about what you guys had for dinner this week or what you're planning to have next week because I've not yet started my meal plan. I will talk to you guys later. Bye.